In this tutorial, we will learn about concurrent hash map. Now the question comes, what is concurrent hash map? Concurrent hash map is present within java.util.concurrent package, which was introduced in Java 5. It allows us to keep a track of key and values, which is what hash table and hash map used to give us. So in the same way, concurrent hash map is also used to provide key and value mappings. It has fail safe nature of iterator, which was lagging in other collections like hash table. The congruent hash map also provides us with a synchronized map, which offers better performance as compared to the earlier synchronous hash map or hash table. It also provides us with put if absent method which provides synchronization on put operation. Let's see what is the advantages of using put if absent method. In the earlier map implementations like hash map, which were not synchronized, if we wanted the map to be synchronized, we made use of the collections.synchronized map or synchronized collections method. Following this, to check whether a particular key is present in the map, we make use of map.contains key, after which we can then put the key along with the value in case the key is not present. Now this implementation will fail in multi-threading environment. Let's take for example, two threads trying to assess this particular piece of code. So thread one and thread two try to FUT assess the contains key. Let's say since it is synchronized in nature, the thread one got access to this particular method and it invokes on contains key. Following which it went to put the key and value. Now before it goes, the other thread can also get access to contains key since the first thread has already left the contains key method. And again, when it checks the contains key, the key is not present. So it will wait for the put operation of thread one to get completed. Following which it can again insert the same key within the map with a different value. This can cause undesirable results. So in case we didn't want to have such undesirable results, along with synchronization on map, we have to place both these commands in synchronized block, which in simple words means these two operations should be made atomic. To make it atomic, the concurrent hash map gives us the put if absent method. We know hash table which was introduced in the earlier versions of Java was synchronized in nature. Concurrent hash map also provides synchronization on map. So what are the advantages of concurrent hash map over hash table? The difference lies in the fact that all the operations defined within hash table performs a lock on the entire map. While in the case of concurrent hash map, instead of locking the entire map, it locks individual buckets. We know data is stored within map in the form of buckets, where all the objects which have the same hash code are put inside one bucket. In the case of concurrent hash map, the lock-in happens on the bucket level in general case, 16 locks are provided, which indicates 16 different threads are allowed to modify simultaneously on different buckets. Facility is also provided to increase the number of locks, but always increasing the number of locks is not preferable since it causes overhead in maintaining them. So the advantage of concurrent hash map over hash table is, 
it performs lock in only on bucket level and not on the entire map level so when a lock is obtained on particular bucket other threads which want to access other buckets are free to do so which naturally increases performance shown are the analysis of various operations which can be performed on concurrent hash map the first operation which we are seeing is the retrieval operation the retrieval operation in general case does not block blocking happens in the case of retrieval operation only if the key is not found or the value is null in which case a one more transversal will happen through the map to actually find out whether the value was modified while retrieving this particular operation removal operation has some overhead this is mainly because the way hash map is generally implemented it is generally implemented in the form of buckets which hold references to each of the objects so naturally if any object gets removed the preceding object has to now maintain the entry of next one and so on which will require cloning and hence the removal operation does have some overhead the traversal operation in general case does not have lock in unless the underlying collection is modified since the concurrent hash map is made in such a way that any change to its collection is known to it hence the lock in at the traversal case will be very much minimum so now let's look at an example of using concurrent hash map we have created a class with name concurrent hash map eg within the main function of this class we are creating a concurrent hash map which takes string as a key as well as string as the value within this map we are adding key and value as one with the help of put if absent method which we discussed which per, per, which performs an atomic operation which checks whether the key is present and in case the key is present then only add this particular key and value within the particular hash map we are adding three different keys and values 1 2 and 3 respectively following which we are getting the entry set and we obtain an iterator of this particular entry set and we loop through this entry set while doing the looping itself we are adding the value phi and phi and we are also printing the output as concurrent plus entry dot next since hash map sorry since concurrent hash map is implemented in a fail safe iterator manner this will work and the output will be printed so there is no guarantee whether the value which we are put in on the fly while iterating will be shown or not shown but the iterator will not fail with concurrent modification exception the same example we do with a hash map by using put operation and again obtaining the entry set as well as the iterator and while looping through it we are putting the value phi and phi so while iterating through it we are putting the key and value as phi and phi and we are also printing the output by saying map so let's execute this particular program and on executing we can see the concurrent hash map output is shown clearly while the map gave us an error saying concurrent modification exception next let's see copy on write array list 